I'm a collector. I collect all this stuff, so that's really cool to see. You set on the truck? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, we said 30 bucks was cool? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, man. Yeah, this thing is sick. What's good, everyone? Decan here. Thanks for tuning into the retro world. I look like I got sunburned. I've been doing a bunch of yard work. I don't know. Anyways, we found a pretty cool deal on OfferUp. Um, it's a bunch of PSP games, which we don't really come across too often here on this channel. Uh, $10 is what we agreed on, and it's like seven or maybe eight PSP games. So nothing too crazy, but $10 for a bunch of PSP games. I can't say no to that. So about to go meet up with this bro, and we're gonna get some games. Here's the footage for that. Good. You said 10 bucks? Yes, sir. There you go. Am I buying them all? Or you want to count them back? Cool. You mind if I just look through them real quick? No, awesome, man. I don't know. I buy games. Maybe, actually. I don't know. I buy games a bunch, so you might have. Cool, man. Everything here, I'm pr pretty sure it works, right? Uh, I don't know if they work or not. Okay. Well, I'll find out. I'm pretty sure they came out of like a... That's what's up, baby. PSP games. Some good stuff in here, too. All right, guys, I just met up. The deal went down. Um, I spent $10 on everything you're about to see. So a lot of the times I like to take this stuff back to the house, but I'm kind of out and about today. I will go ahead and show you guys everything. Um, and then also something cool might something cooler might be coming out out of this. So we'll see. But first up, we have Midnight Club LA Remix. Now, this one doesn't have the case or anything, but whatever. It's a game. So next up, we have SOCOM US Navy SEALs. And I'm seeing this is a not for resale version. I don't know if that really matters with these type of games, but sometimes those not for resale versions in general are worth a little more. Um, but I don't know about that. Anyways, Need for Speed Most Wanted. A game that I already have, but I'll take another one. I don't care. Twisted Metal Head On. The game that kind of brought me into this deal to begin with, I came across this one and I was like, you know what, $10 for everything. There's no way this is not gonna all be worth at least $10, but we have Grand Theft Auto, Chinatown Wars. Now this is great as hits, but still really cool to come across. Um, let me know if you're a fan of the Grand Theft Auto series and then let me know your favorite Grand Theft Auto game below in the comment section. Next up, we have Siphon Filter, Dark Mirror. Also another not for resale version. Kind of cool. It looks interesting. I remember playing Siphon Filter. I think it was on PS1, like super back in the day, but I don't know. Cool games if you're into them. Next up, we have Kill Zone Liberation. What is this? The Not for Resale Club or something? Like every game I'm looking at now is pretty much not for resale. So Kill Zone Liberation. Another game over here I'm going to probably be holding on to, but we have God of War, Ghost of Sparta. And last but not least, we have another Siphon Filter game, Logan's Shadow. Once again, not for resale. I There you go. I don't know if y'all want to see that or not. I don't know if it matters, but guys, I spent 10 bucks on everything you see, and I'm completely fine with spending $10 for a bunch of video games. The cool part about this is this dude told me that he cleans out storage units once a month. So I gave him my number. He went ahead and called me so that way I would have his number. I told him I'm going to text him once a month and he's going to let me know, um, you know, if he comes across anything crazy. He told me he finds this stuff, though, pretty often. So let's hope that we made a really good connection today. And guys, let's keep going. OK, guys, I popped into GameStop real quick and it was actually a GameStop I don't really go to too often. Um, but anyways, I just recently found out about this game. It's Rock Band country track pack two and we spent 6.99 but as you guys saw uh, right before this video it was like seven and some change i don't know why exactly but this game right here is selling for like 20 to like 30 dollars right now i bought this so that way we could make a little more money to pretty much recoup the other money that we just spent so i'm not going for rock band games and i'm not going for a full Wii set otherwise i'd have to have this but Keep an eye out for this and shout outs to Funtime Wallace. He actually let me know 
that these games in particular, for whatever reason, are worth a decent amount. So if you find them for a couple bucks, honestly, even if you find them for, I'd say 10, maybe even 15 and under, and you're looking to make a little money on the side, you'll make a little bit of money. So <laughs> let's keep going. guys we just popped into a local pawn shop and we came across guitar hero metallica for five bucks and it is complete um as you guys know i'm not really going for xbox stuff although this is super sick this is worth anywhere from like 20 to 25 bucks so we literally just bought this to add a little bit more money into the game funds let's keep going Howdy guys, I just got back in town. I don't think I mentioned I was leaving town, but I've been gone for a couple of days. Literally on my way coming back into town, like I'm not even kidding, I'm like a minute away from my house. I'm checking for deals at a red light. I come across this deal on OfferUp. It's for a Sega with a Sega CD. The box in like 12 games. Dude had it listed for 40. Y'all know we gotta negotiate. So I offered 20. I always kind of just cut the price in half. It doesn't always work. And he's like, the lowest I'm willing to go is 30. I was like, I can meet you right now. So I'm on my way. Well, technically I'm in the game room, but I'm about to be on my way to go meet up with this mate for this amazing deal. Kind of tongue tied. Cause it's just like that. Anyways, guys, here's some footage for that. I'm meeting you for the games, right? Okay. Cool. I was like, ah. I appreciate you meeting me out here, man. Oh, that's no problem. Awesome. Box, but, like, beat up. Dude, that's, that's fine. Really I'm a collector. I collect all this yeah. stuff, so that's really cool yeah, to see. You set on the truck? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, we said 30 bucks was cool? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, man. Hey, this thing is sick. You got the... Everything's in there? Yeah, you got the disc part with it, too. I don't have the okay. disc games with it. That's fine, though. given to me. I, I do the furniture. They didn't want it, so... Okay. You ever come across this stuff, like, more often, or... I mean, it's here and there. All right, guys. The deal just went down. Please ignore my girlfriend's three-year-old slide in the back. But anyways, we picked up this Sega CD. Not that jug of water, but in the box. The box is super beat up, but we're about to take a closer look at everything when we get back to the house. All right, guys. I just made it home back into the game room, and we are taking a look at this Sega CD and all of the games. We're going to total up the value, and we're going to see how we did. Unfortunately, this box is super, super beat up. Like, you guys remember that Atari box? This one somehow looks worse than that Atari box. It's just, ah, uh, it's so sad. Now, I'm kind of wondering if I could actually get some of this stuff off without ruining the box, but at this point, I can't really see this box being worth much. It is the original box, so maybe even in this condition, it could be worth something, but I wouldn't say more than like, Mm, maybe like 10 bucks and that's probably pushing it i'm gonna look this up though just to see but it's in this really awful condition i don't know but anyways let's go ahead and dive on in and see what we got okay guys i went ahead and started to pull out the cardboard it is kind of cool that at least this is in here i feel like there's probably some styrofoam or something to go along with this back in the day but i'm gonna set the phone down for a second because i need both of my hands to jump in here and get all this stuff out all right guys we made it out of the box. This is just a quick pan over of what we have. This is freaking cool. I've never seen a Sega CD from like a local deal before. Um, I've seen them at like game stores, eBay, like YouTubers, things like that. But just to come across one of these, like kind of in the wild, is really, really sick. And on the top over here, we already got an awesome game. We got Primal Rage. But guys, we're going to go and jump into everything and we're just going to see what we got. All right, guys, as we already went over, we got Primal Rage. Pretty cool. Right here, we have Arcade Classics. Looks like just a bunch of older games, which is still sick. Never actually seen that cartridge before, so that's kind of cool to come across. Uh, over here, we got F-22 Interceptor. Never heard of this game. Cool. Next up, we got F-15 Strike Eagle 2. Another game I've never heard of. Let me know below if you are familiar with any of these games as I pulled them out of this box. Next up, we have Jungle Strike, the sequel to Desert Strike. Um, I don't think I've ever came across this game either, so 
whatever. Let's just keep adding games to the collection that we've never heard of. Side Pocket, probably not worth much. I'm just going to assume. Battleship. There's actual Desert Strike, so that's kind of cool. We got the first one, and then we have the sequel. Kind of, kind of cool. This is an... Oh, cool. This is an N64 game. Battle Zone: Rise of the Black Dogs. I've been little by little trying to go for a full N64 set. I don't think I've even ever heard of this game, so I'm almost positive I do not own it. So that's awesome. We get to add that one to the N64 collection. Had no idea there was N64 games in here. Next up, we got two dudes playing volleyball. We got Super <laughs> Super Volleyball. Cool. It's probably a classic hidden gem. No idea. World Series Baseball. I'm going to go ahead and assume most of these games probably aren't super valuable, but that's completely fine with me. We have NFL 95, and then we have Caesar's Palace. Like I said, I'm almost positive these games are probably not worth much, but we will find out here together. Um, yeah, I just completely messed all that up, and now we're going to take a closer look at this stuff. All right, guys, let's see if we got a bonus game in here. I really doubt it, but... Hey, at least the button works. No bonus game. So kind of sad, but also not because this is just really, really cool to come across. So it's a little rough looking. I mean, we can clean it up and I'm sure we'll be fine. Plus, we have all the cables back here. So that's awesome. And I don't know what kind of controller this is. Quick shot for professional players, which is not me. I am not a professional but we also have a Sega controller as well. So guys, I'm going to pull everything out. I'm going to kind of tidy up the wires a little, clean it up a little bit, and then we're going to total it all up in price charting and we're going to see how we did. All right, guys, we got the Sega CD all laid out, cleaned up. I wiped everything up, got the controllers wrapped up, and we got all of the games laid out. I went ahead and started putting this stuff into price charting and the first 10 games we're looking at $59.12. Um, a couple on here I didn't really realize were worth much. Like that Super Volleyball game is saying about $7 in value. Uh, Desert Strike and Jungle Strike both a little bit over $8 a piece. So that's actually kind of cool that just with these 10 games alone, we're already at over what we spent. So that doesn't necessarily mean I would make this much money if I sold all these games, but it's kind of cool to see that we already got a really good deal you know, we spent 30 bucks on everything. So let's go and look at the other stuff now. All right, guys. And this is the other stuff. So we have the Sega CD Model 2 console, not the first model, Model 2. And that's the potential value right now is about $149.99. That's not including the actual Sega Genesis that is attached to it which is valued at around $37.50. Now this does say loose for the condition. I don't know if that just means the console alone. I'm gonna assume it does. So I mean, with the cables and the controllers, we'd probably add a little bit more value to that, but we'll just take the $37.50 for now, that's fine. Um, that Battle Zone Rise of the Black Dogs game is actually worth a little bit more than, you know, I thought. I didn't know anything about that game, so kind of cool just to get a bonus game in there that's almost as valuable as everything that we spent. Um, and then Arcade Classics and Super Battleship were the other Sega games. Not really worth too much, but when we add this up and the other one, you know, we get a pretty decent potential value Okay, guys, that concludes today's episode. We had some pretty good deals. Seeing a Sega CD like that is honestly amazing to me. It's just that, like, I've been collecting now for a few years, and I've never seen one of those. So even at this point in collecting, I feel like, you know, some people have probably seen everything. I haven't. So that's really cool, especially in the box. Uh, I can't decide if I want to keep it or not. Like, I just love having the freaking boxes to everything if I can, but... Mm, I don't know. That's one of those things that if the box was in nicer condition, I'd probably consider it. But since it's so beat up, like, I don't know if I can even justify putting that up here on the shelf. So we'll see about that. I'm not exactly sure yet. But guys, I appreciate all of y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to hit the like button. Um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And then also drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite thing was that I picked up in today's episode. I appreciate everyone. Until next time, peace.